Greetings. Uh, welcome to another edition of At the Pictures with myself, Jimmy De Palma, and this guy is Jazz Scorsese. Jazz Scorsese. Before we're going to be talking about uh, it's a beautiful day in my neighbourhood, the Mister Rogers film with Tom Hanks. But before that, we've got a bit of a, not a party political broadcast, but just a wee warning to cinema goers out there. Me and Chaz were fell foul of. Uh, the Cine World, world official dumb uh, at one of our screenings, didn't we? We tried to get in. We've been smuggling McDonald's and things like that in for years. McDonald's, Subways, all those kind of items uh, with no hassle. Uh, but we were stopped, weren't we, Chaz? Yeah. We're still, Chaz is still in shock about it. I actually screamed like a bird when I was told. I was like, uh, went, I'm afraid you can't bring that in here, sir. And I went, what? And I, you know, Chaz had to had to take me home. I gave him the car keys, and he drove me home. I was still in a state of shock. But uh, so that's what's happening now. They're kind of cracking down, possibly. I think we've been doing it for years, as I say, uh, chewing down in some Big Macs and stuff like that in the pictures. But what we do is we always we don't just go like that on the Big Mac and throw it down. No, and leave it and walk away. We take our rubbish and put it in the bin. And I think people have been taking their Big Macs, their KFCs, their wah wah wah, whatever, and they've been just depositing it on the floor uh, and ruined it for us guys, the honest smugglers, who smuggle things in honestly and eat them and dispose of their rubbish responsibly. And they've ruined it for us, if that's what it is anyway. It might be that people are only buying the, the two pricey kind of snacks for Cine World, that might be it as well. Uh huh. Uh huh. So. Chaz is still in a bit of depression about it. But anyway, let's get to the proper thing that we're here for. The film! Uh, sorry about that rant there but that we just had about the, uh, you know, the, the McDonald's and everything like that. But the ranting is what, you know, Mr. Rogers, uh, this, this, what this film is about, uh, you know, would have told us that we could have done something a bit better. And maybe channeled our rage into something else, you know, uh, anger at people for telling us that again. But uh, I, I really liked this film and it calmed me down considerably. What are you laughing at? What was your kind of, your take on it, Chaz? What was your... No, well, it was a very nice story. It was funny. It was but funny. It was, but, but, lone, lonely thing is... I mean, this might be a bit spoilers, but see at the end of all the the films just before the credits, mm -hmm. it always has the history and I didn't huh. see any of this. Ah, well, we, there's not much we know about Mr. Rogers because he's an American kind of children's television presenter. I mean, we've not got much to be proud about, you know, we're a children's television presenter. We couldn't see the Rolf Harris story or anything like that or the Jimmy Savile story, you know, these kind of things. But this guy seemed to be a genuinely nice guy. Uh, and what he does in the film, as you know, Chaz, he helps. There's a kind of a cynical uh, journalist guy that's going through a bad time, uh, you know, emotionally and, and for his past with his dad and everything. And uh, instead of him interviewing Mr. Rogers, Mr. Rogers ends up interviewing him and kind of using his kind of goodness to help him, isn't it? And, uh -huh. I think so. Did you? Did you, would you have watched? I mean, they show you some of the clips for Mister Rogers' television program. Would that be something you would have watched when you were kind of a child, Chaz? I know you're eighty-five years old now, but what, yeah, would it have been something you would have enjoyed? Yeah. And did you like? We know that Mister Rogers was Tom Hanks. What did you think of him? Just I loved the bit where it went. Hello, is that? I don't Can you do it? Because no, I'm you do it. Go on. I can't. Oh, it's going to be in the Hello. It's a lovely day in the neighbourhood. I do it. sounds sinister. Like, is somebody going, Hello, it's a lovely day in the neighbourhood. Dee, dee, dee. <laughs> you stab them or something. But uh, no, he's genuinely a nice guy. Uh, we looked him up afterwards to find out about it. You know, it's somewhere between Sesame Street and, uh, I don't know, uh... What, what was kind of things that he, he seems to have had such a that's a great effect on the American public. The bit you liked it as well. He took the guy, the journalist, on a subway with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was like he just 
He was angry about the journalist guy was angry about everything. Oh, I was just then, a lot of fear. Then he saw saw the saw one of his puppets and then then chased them. Hi. Well, there was a uh, before I go into my favourite scene. There was a <laughs> there was a dream sequence bit when the journalist gets shrunk down to any puppet size and he becomes old rabbit. Uh, and you see Mr. Rogers' puppets and everything like that talking to him. Kind of freaked me out a wee bit. Uh-huh. Uh, and at the... At the... I'm not saying anything about this. At the end... And they found Old Rabbit. Did they? Uh-huh. Oh, aye. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. it looks like... The... Looks like someone who's getting a sequel this year. I wonder who that can be. Totally not someone. Oh, else. Peter Bloody Rabbit. Is that what you thought? That's Chaz trying to go into other films there. But my favourite scene uh, was quite, and it, and it looked like it happened really naturally. It must have been something that really did happen. Uh, they're in the subway. Mister Rogers says he often takes the subway, and he they're all sitting, and then these kids recognise him obviously off the telly. And they watch him every day and everything, you know, on his programme. And they start singing his theme song. And then everybody on the bus, all the different nationalities, two cops, probably some felons as well, taking the bus to rob a house. They all start singing uh, the theme song. And the journalist's there and he witnesses this. It's like, you know, he's some kind of special person, Mr. Rogers. We don't know anything about Mr. Rogers. All I know about is my two heroes growing up were David Natterborough. And I liked Tony Hart as well. David that uh, Attenborough, aye, Attenborough, aye. So who's you, who was you, who's your kind of hero? You've got YouTube heroes, haven't you? you know that YouTubers. Mm. Who's your? You got any heroes? Mm. I'm just wondering. Yeah. Wasn't when you searched up um, Tom Hanks was a relative of um. Oh yeah, we did some research and found out that. See, we do care about you know research and things like that. We don't just wing it. This is something that's really prepared and, and we take a lot of effort over it. And uh, so it was uh, Tom Hanks is some kind of distant cousin or something to Mr. Rogers. But I think Tom Hanks is probably a nice guy and uh, Mr. Rogers definitely a nice guy. So, uh, But uh, as I say, we didn't have the benefit of that. I, we watched, I watched, what was it, Play Away, Blue Peter. You know, we had uh, a few nice people in Blue Peter that you could look up to. Uh, Chaz unfortunately has grown up in a generation that's not got many nice folk about and then we're finding out that maybe some of the folk from my like I was watching and, the, and liking you know that were uh, drawn cartoons and cartoon time weren't as nice as they made it but anyway let's get to the marks whoa we're back Chaz what are you giving it I'm giving it a five a five I'm so proud of you Chaz Giving it a... That is sound sinister, doesn't it? Uh, I'm giving it... Wait for it. I'm giving it a five as well, folks. Five. I don't give out five. fives willy-nilly, but it seems like I'm now. Ten out, ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. You can't argue with that. Mr. Rogers. It's got a lot of things. It's not just about Mr. Rogers and the programme. Oh, that was the thing we forgot to say. There's great wee bits when it does the Mr. Rogers programme. We, we've never seen it really, but it must do wee bits with wee model villages and stuff like that in cars about... So they did that as well, you know, to denote him flying from New York to Pittsburgh and it was a wee model plane on a string. It was really crap. <laughs> but it was really, well, it was very classy. Oh, it was classy. But anyway, that's it. 10 out of 10 for a really nice film. I'm sure that film will be watched for years to come. Uh, brought a tear to our eye as well. It was a nice, nice wee film. So.